as African people, our original diet was mostly plant-based. We ate very little meat as a people. We are vegetarians by nature. Many of us were fruitarians. We only ate fruit. And we ate the leaves, the plants, I mean, the edible ones, beautiful, and we lived hundreds of years. Some of you today, you read the Bible and you hear about the ancient matriarchs and the ancient patriarchs and the great prophets. And the scripture says they lived 200 years, 300 years, 400 years, 500 years. Methuselah lived nearly a thousand years, 950 plus years. When you read that today, many of you say, ah, oh, that's a myth. Oh, that's so far-fetched. That could never happen. Y you are mistaken. Once upon a time, that's how we lived. Because we ate according to our nature and we followed the dictates and the commands of Almighty God. That's why many of you who know me personally, many of you have been watching me on television back in the 90s. Many of you, you look at me, you wonder, how comes he hasn't changed from over 20 years ago? Well, that's based on our diet. That's based on the fact that we're going back to our original diet and we don't age and we don't break down and we don't become decrepit because there's a way to eat black man and woman right. that if you ate right you could look like you're 16 for the rest of your life take it or leave it this is real and that's why when they assassinated Malcolm X and they performed the autopsy on him the doctor said he had never seen the inside of any human being so clean because Malcolm X for 12 years in the Nation of Islam was following the dietary law of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, eating one meal a day and eating only certain foods, special foods, natural foods, and not these processed foods that we go to the supermarket and grab today, which are shortening our lives. Most people today are ill based on what you put into your mouth. And so, we were plant-based diet people. And one of the problems, one of the reasons why today many of us are in trouble is because our diet has been changed. And by the way, one of the ways that you instill fear or you breed fear into people is change their diet. Because certain foods that we eat and black people have become renowned as people who love to eat chicken. We love to eat chicken. That's what, the, that's what the, the popular concept is. But why do you think when you're cowardly, you're called a chicken? Because you are what you eat. And whatever you eat, whatever creature you eat, you will manifest the characteristics of that creature. And that's why when you're driving down the road today and you meet these savage people on the road, who won't even allow you to come out of a side turning. That's because they had smoky bacon in the morning. That's because they had a gammon steak in the morning. That's because they ate some pig trotters. And they're now what's called a road hog because they have the characteristic and the behavior of a pig, of a swine. This is the reality. I know you think I'm joking, but I'm not joking. You are what you eat. You become what you eat. You begin to manifest the characteristics of the creature that you eat. This is real. And so, they gave us and they forced us in enslavement to eat the swine. And they gave us even the worst parts of the swine. They gave us the belly or the tripe of the swine. They gave us the feet of the swine. They gave us the tail of the swine. They gave us the ears and all of the nasty parts of the swine. That's what they would throw to the, to the slaves. And quite often, they would not give us those things until those things were rotting, till those things were um, putrefying and going off. But the black man and the black woman, we're so ingenious. We're so resilient. Our nature, about spices and cooking is such that we would spice up these foods, spice up these meats to kill the putrefying taste. 
This is where in the Caribbean now you get these so-called jerk foods, jerk chicken and jerk pork, because we would kill the nasty taste by spices, spices, seasoning. White man knows nothing about seasoning, but we are the originators of seasoning. Today, 